Our next speaker was selected from more than 500 candidates to represent the voice of civil society. From the Marshall Islands, please welcome Kathy Jetnil Kijner. My family and I have traveled a long way to be here today, all the way from the Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands encompasses more than 2 million square kilometers of ocean, and so it makes sense that our culture is one of voyaging and navigation. One of our most beloved legends features a canoe race between 10 brothers. Their mother, holding a heavy bundle, begged each of her sons for a ride on their canoe. But only the youngest listened and took her along for the ride, not knowing that his mother was carrying the first sail. With the sail, he won the race and became chief. The moral of the story is to honor your mother and the challenges life brings. Climate change is a challenge that few want to take on, but the price of inaction is so high. Those of us from Oceania are already experiencing it firsthand. We've seen waves crashing into our homes and our breadfruit trees wither from the salt and drought. We look at our children and wonder how they will know themselves or their culture should we lose our islands. Climate change affects not only us islanders, it threatens the entire world. To tackle it, we need a radical change of course. This isn't easy, I know. It means ending carbon pollution within my lifetime. It means supporting those of us most affected to prepare for unavoidable climate impacts. And it means taking responsibility for irreversible loss and damage caused by greenhouse gas emissions. The people who support this movement are indigenous mothers like me, families like mine, and millions more, standing up for the changes needed and working to make them happen. I ask world leaders to take us all along on your ride. We won't slow you down. We'll help you win the most important race of all, the race to save humanity. I would now like to share with you a poem that I have written for my daughter, Matafele Benham. Dear Matafele Benham, you are a seven-month-old sunrise of gummy smiles. You are bald as an egg and bald as the Buddha. You are thighs that are thunder, shrieks that are lightning, so excited for bananas, hugs, and our morning walks along the lagoon. Dear Mata Felipinum, I want to tell you about that lagoon, that, lo that lazy lounging lagoon, lounging against the sunrise. Men say that one day that lagoon will devour you. They say it will gnaw at the shoreline, chew at the roots of your breadfruit trees, gulp down rows of sea walls, and crunch through your island's shattered bones. They say you, your daughter, and your granddaughter too, will wander, rootless, with only a passport to call home. Dear Matafele Benham, don't cry. Mommy promises you no one will come and devour you. No greedy whale of a company sharking through political seas. No backwater bullying of businesses with broken morals. No blindfolded bureaucracies gonna push this mother ocean over the edge. No one's drowning, baby. No one's moving. No one's losing their homeland. No one's becoming a climate change refugee. Or should I say, no one else. To the Carteret Islanders of Papua New Guinea and to the Taro Islanders of Fiji, I take this moment to apologize to you. We are drawing the line here because we, baby, are going to fight. Your mommy, daddy, boo boo, jima, your country, and your president, too, we will all fight. And even though there are those hidden behind platinum titles who like to pretend that we don't exist, who like to pretend that the Marshall Islands, Tuvalu, Kiribati, Maldives, Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, floods of Algeria, Colombia, Pakistan, and all the hurricanes, earthquakes, and tidal waves didn't exist? Still, there are those who see us, hands reaching out, fists raising up, 
banners unfurling, megaphones booming, and we are canoes blocking coast ships. We are the radiance of solar villages. We are the fresh, clean soil of the farmer's past. We are teenagers pet blooming petitions. We are families biking, recycling, reusing, engineers building, dreaming, designing, artists painting, dancing, writing, and we are spreading the word. And there are thousands out on the streets marching hand in hand, chanting for change now. And they're marching for you, baby. They're marching for us because we deserve to do more than just survive. We deserve to thrive. Dear Matafele Bainam, you are eyes heavy with drowsy weight. So just close those eyes and sleep in peace because we won't let you down. You'll see.